Hey everyone, welcome to AppSheet Explained, the show that demystifies the AppSheet platform and all the other services it interacts with. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Matt, my company is Multitech Visions. I started this company three years ago with the goal of helping people build better apps on the AppSheet platform, and since then I've worked with companies of all shapes and sizes, distribution companies, telehealth startups, research foundations, mom and pop shops, other people using the AppSheet platform to make a living. These are just a sampling of the types of people I've worked with in the past three years. So today, we're going to talk about audit history. Specifically, what happens if somebody is trying to be nefarious and they are intentionally misleading and manipulating data? How can we get to the root of what actually happened? If you have an app sheet app that's integrated with the Google Sheet, you already have a very good sense of what has happened, irregardless of whatever the data was actually submitted but you can take it a step further and activate a mix panel integration with your AppSheet app. And this brings an entirely new level of detail recorded about the users of your app, what they're doing, where they're doing it, things of this nature. So let's get into this. I have open here my current version of the time tracking app. Coming soon, I will walk you guys through how to create your own version of this because it's time to upgrade this app. Uh, to integrate the newer aspects of the AppSheet platform. The premise here is what if somebody using an app like this comes in here and changes something? How can we track who changed what? So if we go inside of AppSheet, every change, every time you sync like this, Every time you save something, every time you do something inside the app, it sends a change record to AppSheet and it's recorded in this audit history. So if you catch it, you can come in here and find the actual edit that that person made. And the length in which this is stored is configurable on your account settings if you want more. So. This gives you a chance where if you can catch it right away, you can come in here and you can see this person made this change. Here is all of the changes that they made. It literally shows you all the data that they submitted, right? Now, there's another way we could do this. Now say this time has elapsed here. Um, you know, I didn't think to come down here and change my account settings to, to make this hold on to stuff longer and it only holds on to like three days or something and this was two months ago well there's another hope if we go back to google sheets here in the version history google stores every change that was made ever to your google sheet all the way back to creation you can come back here and expand all of the changes that were made on this one day and then you can cycle through each one of your edits and it'll tell you this is the edit that was made and it highlights everything that was changed these are the things that happened okay and that's just four or four so you can cycle through everything to find out specifically what happened who did it what changes did they make and we can get the data back if it was lost but then you can go a step further i mentioned at the beginning of this video that you could integrate with something called mix panel so mix panel is a fantastic service that if you integrate it with your app you can grab incredible amount of detail about what's going on with your app so in here i have two things i have the app start and the save so you can see where people how many people are starting the app and how many times those people are saving we can do this in a pie chart this gives you a brief overview of how many times people are starting the app and actually saving something versus just starting the app and not doing anything inside of it so that's just the overview here. You can get down into some incredibly detailed information, statistics, this, that, and whatever. You can build a whole bunch of custom reports on here. Uh, the details that are recorded uh, via this, this service are 
many and extensive. I have a uh, document that I'll link down below, but basically the properties that they record are the browser, the browser version, the city, the country, the current URL, the device, the distinct ID, the initial refer, the initial refer domain, the library version, the mixed panel library, the operating system, the region, the screen height, the screen width, and the time at which the change was made. Those are all standard things that AppSheet said, okay, these are the things we want Mixpanel to record. AppSheet has also passed on from the AppSheet side of things, the device ID, the user ID, the MP processing time in milliseconds, is the admin button visible, the Android version, this is not the version of the Android, this is was it an Android version, true or false, uh, where was the app created from? Is the app deployable? What display theme are they using? What's the app ID? What's the name of the app? What's the app owner ID? App valid plan, true or false, whether or not the plan you're on is good, uh, like you've paid your bills or not. The app version, the browser, the browser locale, the hash, this shows the view that the patient was on. The iOS version, again, this is not the version they were on, but true, false, if it was an Apple device. Was it in a mobile web view? This is, was they were they using a web browser? JS product version, lo, locale, language, suggestions available, user email, the user ID, user is app owner, and if it's white labeled or not. All of those things are recorded back here inside Mixpanel and you can create all kinds of crazy detailed reports to figure out who and what and where and why. I hope all of this has explained how an integration with AppSheet and Google Sheets just by itself is good enough to really make any kind of data hound or audit person drool because it will literally give you everything that's ever happened. Thanks for tuning in. This might've been a little bit of a long one, but I hope that this has assuaged any fears or whatever that you might have about an app sheet app that's integrated with a cloud hosted spreadsheet. My name is Matt. This is app sheet explained. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to like subscribe. I'll be bringing you more content here about the app sheet platform and cloud hosted data sources in the future. Look forward to it.